the Georgia Wildlife Resource Division. Yeah, doesn't that look official right there? Well, it is official. It's something that I'm proud that I was able to accomplish this year. Hold on, I need a letter opener here. I got the thing all sealed up. Wow, there's a bunch of stuff in here. So let's just gonna show what we got. So if you don't know, I live in Tennessee, but I'm probably 30 minutes from the Georgia border. So I participated in a Georgia bass fishing uh, slam that you can do. And I was rewarded for it. I got a bunch of little stuff right here. I mean, who can't use a good pen? Um, I don't know what this little thing is. A little, I think it's a license holder. A key ring fish key ring. A sunglass lanyard. I think that's what that thing is. And we got a letter here. Congratulations on completing the Georgia Bass Slam. Catching six of the ten eligible, eligible black bass species is a wonderful achievement. Please accept this certification and recognize you as a Georgia Bass Slam holder. I completed the Georgia Bass Slam. I'm in the record books for completing this. It's something that I've seen a couple other guys do last couple years. I started to do it last year. I only caught four species. But this year I was able to catch six and you got to send them in. Uh, email it in. doesn't cost anything. Um, it's just a matter of getting the right pictures, the location, sending it in. And um, I get this little, uh, what is this? Like a little, oh, hoo -hoo. <gasps> here we go. This is it. This is what I've been waiting on. I've graduated. And here's my diploma. That's pretty cool. That's kind of a cool little thing that they send out that they do just for participating. What you get I think they send you stickers for um, each of the bass that I've caught. Georgia is the black bass capital of the world with 10 species of black bass and more than 12,000 miles of streams and thousands of acres of reservoirs to bass fish. Catch five species to complete the, back, black, the Georgia Bass Slam. So if you catch five or more, you can, you're, you've completed it. Now you can catch all 10, and, but I didn't do that. So this right here obviously is a large mouth. Sticker number one. Um, little Georgia wildlife sticker. Oh, it's a Georgia Bass Slam sticker. I don't know why it's got a deer and a and an eagle on there, but that's like their Georgia thing. And oh, here they are, here they are. So I get these small stickers of each species. So this one is like it's just something they give you. I think you can get that. Lot, maybe several places. So here's the spotted bass. We got the spotted bass. They include the Alabama and the Kentucky spot together. So just get a spotted bass. A smallmouth bass, which can be a tough one to get in Georgia. I actually caught a few smallmouth. At, um, I fished from them at two different places. I only caught one. Or I only caught them at one spot. Uh, oh, shoal bass. I did catch some shoal bass this year. Caught a few different ones. We got the red eye, which they're calling it. I call it a Coosa bass, just to clarify, but that's a, a red eye bass. And uh, there's several that, species that look like this one. Of course, largemouth. Did I already show largemouth? No, I didn't show largemouth. Yep, so the largemouth and the small sticker. And then the Bartram's bass, which can look like a small mouth or a red eye. But the thing about each one of these species, it depends on where you caught it. So there's, like I said, 10 of the black bass species. Um, and where you caught it kind of depends on what it is. Now, some of them can look similar, but they are only certain species that live in certain bodies of water. And that's why they don't, there's a big deal about, um, you know, taking different fish and putting them in different waters. You can put them in the wrong habitat and then they either crossbreed or they can push out a population. I got this, uh, gift card. Go fish at education center and mint one good for one free admission. Go Fish Education Center in Perry, Georgia. Wow. Holy cow, I didn't know they had this. See Georgia's freshwater up close. Aquariums featuring native Georgia fish, alligators, stock fishing pond, fishing and hunting simulators, working fish hatchery, Go Fish Educator Center in Perry, Georgia. Wow, they got 170,000 gallons of aquariums. Explore Georgia's underwater habitat from mountain streams and blackwater swamps. 
See the replica mounts of Georgia's trophy fish, including the world record bass. They, that's right. The Georgia has the world record largemouth. I don't know. I wonder how big it is. I got to see this. Ah, I should have stopped at this when I came back from Florida. Man, I wish I'd have opened this earlier. Well, it's it's almost four hours away from me, so I won't be going to it. Probably not too soon, but I'll definitely be going to check this out. And um, that's, and speaking of that, let me know if if you would like to see any videos. I may do it on my second channel. Do some videos of like some aquariums because there's some really cool aquariums around here that I like to go to visit and might as well like video it. So right there, there's the first one. I completed the Georgia Bass Slam. Got these cool stickers, some little information, and it's a cool thing to do. I'm, I'm probably going to try to do it again next year and try to get the other species since I didn't get all of them. And I'd love to do it at least once and complete and get all 10 species. 